hi welcome back to the channel so we're going to look at um, a numerical differentiation and uh, we're going to look at um, a question from this textbook by Richard and uh, J uh, Douglas um, it's a numerical analysis uh, let me just confirm the edition is ninth edition okay so let's go straight to the question okay so the question is right here it's um uh which set is this so there are a lot of interesting questions that you can try to go through from this textbook so it's, it's uh exercise set 4.1 and uh, the question that um i'm interested in is a uh, question 19 which says let f of x be um cos pi x okay we have to use some equation in this case they have said equation 4.9 so this question this equation that is being talked about is the second derivative midpoint formula okay so and the values of f of x okay we are given to say the values of f of x to be 0 0.25 0 0.5 as well as 0 0.75 uh, we need to approximate f prime prime of 0 0.5 five there okay so another part that i'm interested in this is just to compare with something like maybe a previous exercise or something so another part i'm interested in is um we have to explain um no 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 i'll leave that part out but i'll have to find the bound for the error okay so i'm going to approximate and find the bar and find the bound for the error okay so let's get into this so one thing we are told is that uh, we are given that our function um, f of x is equals to cos um, cos pi x we're just correcting correcting the data for now then we also given the points uh, f of x at um, x is equals to um, you have 0 0.0.25 you have uh, 0 0.5 and uh, 0 0.75 okay uh, and what you're trying to do is to approximate f prime prime of 0 0.75 0 0.5 so what do i need there are two things that i need right now i need the value of h as well as the the formula that i'm going to use okay so here for our value of h our value of h is just simply the step size and if you look at these data points that we have you have 0 0.25 you have 0 0.5 as well as 0 0.75 so one thing you're able to observe is that this data is symmetric uh, just like we explained um data symmetry in the previous video you can check out the link in the description so this data that you have here is evenly spaced okay so I'm just try to write this uh, properly so we have 0 0.0.5 so this data that we have here is evenly spaced so our h is simply more like you can get it in this way you can say your h is equals to you can say 0 0.5 minus 0 0.25 which is still going to be the same as the 0 0.75 minus 0 0.0.5 which is actually 0 0.25 so our h is 0 0.25 that's our step size so now what about the formula so when it comes to the formula um the, the formula that we're going to use the, is the second derivative midpoint formula to approximate this because the second derivative midpoint formula is going to give us the highest accuracy okay so um the formula is given as follows you're going to have uh, your f prime prime of x naught is equals to one over h squared you're going to have open brackets here this is going to be f of x naught minus h minus 2 f of x naught plus f of x naught plus h okay then at this side like at uh, on this side you have the the truncation uh, error or the error form which is like h squared divided by 12 then f to the fourth of okay then you have that there like that okay so this gives you the error so what we are really interested in is just this part 
of the formula and that's what we are going to use but first things first we have to do some uh, computation for us to find the values that we are going to that we are going to be using okay uh, so here we have our values of x as this that and this so let's go ahead and substitute them in the in the function that we that we have which is our f of x so here we're going to have our f of first of all we start with 0 point 0 0.25 is equals to we are going to say is cos we say open bracket is pi multiplied by 0 0.25 so this here gives me um it uh, gives me something like 0 0.7 uh 0 0.7171 uh, 78 81 okay the, so what about um, f of 0.5 okay is equals to so this is like cos pi multiplied by 0 0.5 so this is just more like a pi over 2 actually which is a 0 is like cos 90 it's a 0 and by the way remember to say uh, your, cal your calculator needs to be in radians okay so f of let's try 0. Point, 75 so 0 0.75 is just the negative mirror of this one here so that's just going to be negative uh, 0 0.7071067881 um, there like that okay there we have um, our values okay so we we'll need to use this so I'm hoping you have the formula there with you um i've erased it so for our uh, we have found that our our f of 0 point 0 0.25 is equals to um is equals to 0 point 7071067781 uh, i'm not really rounding off for now then our f of 0 0.5 is equals to 0 then our f of 0 0.75 is equals to uh, the negative of this so I'll just say minus that okay so what, what what's next now we have uh, we have what we need to uh, to approximate our uh, to approximate our 0 point our f prime f prime prime of 0 0.5 so what do we do now so uh, if you look, if you if we get back to the formula that we that we had, uh, we had f prime prime of x naught. In this case, our x naught is zero point five. So remember, it was like one over h squared. Okay, but we know what our h is. Okay, so our h is zero point two five squared. Okay, so you say open bracket. And by the way, uh, I believe here. Let me just substitute. I put zero point five because that's what I'm trying to approximate. So we're going to say we are supposed to have f of x naught uh, minus minus h. But what we are going to do here is just that we are going to say um, x naught minus h is it's like our x naught is zero point five minus our x naught which is uh, sorry our x naught is zero point five then minus our h our h is zero point two five. So this is just going to be um, this right here is just basically f of 0 0.25 okay then we say uh, minus so we're going to have a 2 here by f of x naught what is our x naught here is 0 0.5 then plus f of we are supposed to say x naught plus h what is our x naught our x naught is 0 0.5 then our h is 0 0.25 when we add them we get 0 0.7 seven five and we close like that okay so if we do um, our math there okay so one thing you observe is that for this part here or whatever that i have here first of all it's like uh, i have one over uh, 0 0.25 squared okay so for this one here 0 0.25 it's a uh, 0 point seven zero seven one zero six seven eight one then f of zero point five where am i getting it i'm getting it from here because even this one i got it from here okay what about f of zero point seven five is this one here but it's a negative but 
like this one is a zero so you don't really have to put it so that would be like 0 0.7071060 uh, 781 of which this here okay gives us what gives us a zero so meaning this is what uh, that's a zero right there okay so that's the that's the approximation that we have what that that we have uh, that we have gotten so let's now try to come up with um, uh, so I found that this gives us what by approximation this gives us a zero let's now let's try to find the exact value by finding the exact value we're just going to have to dif uh, differentiate this twice then substitute with 0 0.5 and see what we're going to end up with okay so we have our f of x is equals to cos pi x let's differentiate this our f prime of x which is our first derivative is just going to be equals to minus pi uh, sine uh, sine pi x like that then our f prime prime of x is just going to be equals to minus pi squared cos uh, cos pi x like that so if you substitute okay if we say f prime prime of 0 0.0.5 this will be equals to minus pi squared cos okay that would be pi multiplied by 0 0.5 which you know to say this is just more like pi 90 uh, I mean this is just more like cos 90 which is a zero so this just gives you what gives you a zero which shows that our answer is what our answer is accurate so this right here is the approximation that we have gotten so now let's go to the last part of the question that is asking us to find the the bound of the error so how you come up with the bound of the error we do it this way it's just more like your error uh, your error is going to be like less than or equal to you're going to have your h squared divided by 12 that is coming from the same formula that we that we had which is our second derivative midpoint formula then we have your f let me put it this way it's going to be it's going to be absolute value absolute value of uh, f to the fourth of what of I'm just going to use x there like that okay so what does it mean if you observe I have to the power 4 here so this just tells me to say I need to differentiate up to the fourth derivative okay then I evaluate so what happens is that um, this that I have the condition is that this is for uh, this is for for x uh, in the interval where you have your x naught minus h comma your x naught plus plus h there like that okay so what what are the points that you're going to have there so it's like when you differentiate this uh, up to the like when you differentiate your function up to the fourth derivative what you're going to do is that uh, you're going to substitute the value that will be here and the value that, that that is going to be here so let's determine what those values are so we know that our x naught our x naught is 0 0.5 0 0.5 minus 0 0.25 is going to be 0 0.25 comma 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 that would be 0. 7, 5. so meaning we are saying the condition is that this is for x uh, in the interval 0 0.25 comma 0 0.775 like that okay so now let's go ahead and uh, differentiate so we know what our we have already managed to determine our second derivative we found that our second derivative f prime prime of x uh, it was equals to minus pi squared cos cos pi x so what about the third derivative the third derivative f prime 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 of x will be equals to it to be plus i don't need to put it to be plus pi to the power 3 sine sine pi x then you're going to have f uh, the fourth derivative uh, which will be equals to pi to the power 4 then that would be cos cos pi cos pi x there like that okay so now let's let's evaluate the fourth derivative at this point as well as what as well as at that point so f to the fourth of 0 0.25 what are we going to get so this is just going to be you're going to have um, pi to the power 4 multiplied by remember there was a point at which we we evaluated cos pi x 
okay the only thing that has changed is the fact that we have introduced uh, pi to the power 4 cos pi x we ended up with uh, 0 0.7 zero seven one zero six seven eight one that's what we got what about uh, f to the power four I mean the fourth derivative we evaluated at zero point uh, seven five this is just going to be equals to uh, it will be a minus now but you're going to say pi to the fourth multiplied by negative of this same value okay of that same value I'll just do that so what you're going to end up with okay what you're going to end up with is um for let me try to move this down okay for this one when you when you do the uh, when you do your math there you're going to end up with a value such as like a 68.874 7 like that so it simply means even here it will be the same value but it will be what it will be negative it's this same value but it's what but it's negative so now what are you going to use in your what are you going to use in your error remember uh, what you're looking for here is like uh, in the error bound itself we wrote to say it's supposed to be maximum okay it's supposed to be maximum we wrote something like um, uh, it's supposed to be something like error less than or equal to you have your h to the power 2 divided by 12 then you are going to have maximum value of the absolute value of f uh, the fourth derivative of that like that okay why are we using these absolute value symbols because when you do your your computation like when you do your substitution it's not always that one of them is going to be positive the other one is going to be negative both can be negative but you find that um, between the two negative values one of them is bigger than the other hence you just uh, uh, use the positive part of I mean the positive value okay so here we are going to have like our error it will be less than so it will be h what, what, what's our h we can actually do the substitution our h is 0 0.25 squared divided by 12 then multiplied by what's the maximum value of this that we have gotten it's the positive value which was 68.874 eight three two six seven when you are done here you're going to find that your error is less than less than or equal to zero point three five uh, eight seven two three zero eight six something like that and this is the bound of the error so this is basically how we uh, answer this question uh, thank you very much for watching and do catch you in the next one